With the release of OBD11 version 2 this week, we're going to run you through the iOS application and show you what features are currently in there. Now the iOS application is under development with more features being added uh, quite frequently, but at the moment we'll show you what it exists um, as of right now when OBD11 has just been released uh, in the start of November. So we'll open up the app and we'll hit connect. We'll select our OBD11. We'll ask for our passcode. Now this is one we set up when we first purchased the device. And straight away, it's shown that it's a Volkswagen Golf. It will start reading the control units. It's also got a battery voltage there. By tapping on the voltage, we can actually see a quick battery status, um, which is useful if you are performing tweaks to your vehicle. So now that the control units have been read, uh, we've got this blue icon on the bottom and tap to scan. If you tap on the blue icon, it will bring up the control units. So much like the Android application for those that have used it, we can go through and select an area, for example, the engine. We can get info on the engine. We can, we can also see the engine faults. So right now there is none, which is great. We can also clear them there. You can see coming soon, we've got adaptations, basic settings, live data and security access. So they're the features we're really looking forward to, to uh, line up the Android and iOS applications together. So back to the home, we can run a scan. What we have noticed is that the, the V2 OBD11 device is far quicker than version 1 and these scans happen a lot faster now. So now that we've scanned through all 19 modules, we can either swipe up to clear or swipe down to rescan. I can tap on the, uh, the blue icon and look for that faulty module. So I've got something in air conditioning, got a faults, and we've got a functional limitation. That's going to be probably because the car is not running at the moment. So we can clear those faults by simply swiping up and that fault's been cleared really quickly. If we head over to the apps, we can see the apps that are designed for the Mark 7 Golf. Now, not all of these will work on this vehicle um, as it might mi be missing features such as dipping mirrors or uh, the driver assistance package. And at the top, we've got our adjustments, specific retrofits for things like tail lights. And also, and also workshop tweaks. So this is basic settings, brake pad replacement, which is a big one to retract the electronic parking brake, service reset, oil reset. Um, so if we go into the adjustments, we'll look for something um, that we might want to tweak. So there's quite an extensive list. Um, now you've got to remember every vehicle is going to be different depending on the things available. So you can see plenty of things here in terms of options, options for a Mark 7 Golf including virtual cockpit things for the new ones. So we're gonna change this really annoying setting, which is the open door alarm. It sounds like this. So that's the alarm when the ignition is switched on and you try and open a door. So when you click into the app, um, after a few moments, it will load the current value. I can't change value, I can select what triggers it. It's gonna cost 10 credits and I've got 1500. So go with off and I'll go activate made that quick tweak for us. Now if I open my driver's door, no more alarm, which is really awesome. Um, it is as loud, beepy, uh, and quite uh, quite intimidating. So um, these are all the apps that are currently available. The team do add apps on a regular basis. basis. There's over a thousand right now for the platforms. Um, so there's plenty to be added in. Um, in the other section, we've got a bit of information about our devices we've got connected. Uh, we've got a look up based on our um, equipment stickers. And we've also got a list of supported vehicles, which is effectively most of the Volkswagen group. Um, lastly, in the vehicle and profile tabs, it just shows you basic details about um, your personal profile and your vehicle. and also shows things like vehicle history and the tweaks. So um, that's the iOS application for OBD11 V2. We're really looking, looking forward to the updates that the team will be releasing on a regular basis, um, but still definitely quite powerful at this current point in time. And the apps are a really easy way to do the basic tweaks um, that you need to for your vehicle. And uh, we can look forward to the long coding and adaptations at a later point in time. The OBD11 V2 is available from Auto Instruct right now. We've got hundreds of units in stock. So um, get in there and uh, get to it.